Hey everybody, my name is Kate and welcome back for the deal of humankind. We're going to continue this series, boys, having a lot of fun with it. Uh, we are doing very well so far in three videos. Uh, we managed to get two cities done. We got a bunch of outposts done as well outside in between the cities and stuff. Uh, originally, I wanted to have a city right here in Aliaf and have an outpost that connects these two. Uh, together, but uh, and I also wanted to basically get myself a city right here and connect this outpost right here But it turns out that I can only have three cities in total as of now so uh, I decided to Sacrifice this one get it as an outpost and we'll just get back to a bag due as an outpost for karma as well in the long run I feel like that's what we should be doing uh, next up don't have a lot of things i had a lot of like natural resources nothing to trade them for though nobody to trade them to uh power investors so invest in re uh, resource deposits if no extract exists so i'm not too sure what that means exactly boys what does that mean oh that so we can invest in that that would give us plus 10 stuff right let me see if i invest in that what does that mean exactly what does that do boys Let's invest in that. Maybe that's gonna... Oh, that gives me money. Okay, got you. Money and stuff. Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I need three more districts in total. And just need one more ter uh, territory attached to... Uh, I guess my cities and stuff like that. So an outpost or a new city would do the trick, boys. But let's go ahead and end the turn right away. Uh, and right away we can see we're in turn 28. We've got population gained uh, over uh, somewhere. I'm not too sure which one it is But uh, we've got some population gain right here. We're doing really good. There we go uh, Convert to a re new religion leash got a population gain So it's this outpost right here that gained a population. Let me see really quick. Yeah, it's got one of population Actually can build an arbor which we are going to do We need to save some points though if I want to be able to get that goddamn civic, I, I do need that civic, boys. I do need it. Let me, uh, let me see it really quick. The religi religious rights. Uh, the religious tolerance as well. But yeah, I need to unlock the procession. So I, I just need a couple more points. Just a couple more points are going to be fine. Um, I think I should be okay. Even, uh, even if I uh, purchase, like, uh, say, even if I do this. I'm gonna be fine boys, so I, sh I should do it, should definitely do it anyways, because I'll be fine, so no matter what, so let's go ahead and do it, let's put another uh, arbor right here, there we go, perfect, so that is done, uh, for you, you already have your arbor, so you're good, alright, so what do we do want to do here, so the next turn we're gonna have our procession, we're gonna be able to do our, our civic, so right now, I want to focus on my two cities. I got four more turns for the market to be done over here. All right, that's the market, yes. Um, I've got somebody in the food production. Do I really need somebody in the food production? Not right now, actually. I don't even need anybody in the food production. Why? Simply put, um, I'm already producing 103 food per turn, which is crazy, so I don't need anybody. Uh, in order to produce population. So what I'm going to do is just uh, get more people into science. Uh, Money-wise, I could do that as well. But I feel like I'm doing good on money. The Pada is going alright, I guess. What, what is this? Territories and stability. I know, buddy. I know. So this is trending up now. Uh, our food. Yeah, so we need to have more population in there. It's a, a, it's a city that uh, doesn't have as much uh, easier time as as we uh, would like so we're gonna keep it like that i don't have anything to do we can detach some outposts and stuff eventually but i'm not going to do that we do have an event right here that's going on so let's see what it's all about the floodlands uh part two okay so we saved them all right good we saved the people and they rejoice with our rule so bountiful for another five turns it gives us a plus 10 and 15 food boys across the board which is uh, fantastic, boys. Plus 15 food, I think, in this city alone. So that's uh, fantastic for us. Uh, we have this right here. So scheme in the art. Yes, uh, I know. So religious tolerance. That's basically uh, a new civic that's available for us. But uh, we can't really do anything with that. 
Uh, we do have our armies, so I'm going to try and move my armies really quick. That's something that we want to do. We want to keep exploring, boys. Haven't really explored too much in this area, per se. Uh, we're going to keep exploring via... There we go. So I know, I know it's the sea here. I see a border right here, so there might be a civilization or a new, brand new continent nearby, boys, just waiting for us to discover it. I got a feeling that's what's going on here. There's new continents. We got our own continent for now, and we got to try and uncover a new one. So for our own, uh, right here. Yeah, we're going to continue to move them up, but first off, they need to heal up. The problem is they can't heal up if they're not in their own territories. I'm guessing I'm about, uh, I'm gonna put them right here. I'm gonna put them right here, boys. That should do the trick. Uh, we're gonna just try and uncover the rest of this, and then we're gonna move on towards the north as much as possible right here. Uh, these guys are pretty weak. They need to heal up. Hopefully everything's gonna be fine. So uh, let's skip another turn, boys. Not a whole lot we can do right now. We're just moving around, uh, move along. There we go. Turn 29. Kerma got uh, gained the population, of course. We got we researched the philosophy, which means we can get research quarters now. We can also get a school and uh, erudite admin uh, administrator, so ma uh, a master philosophy. So plus one city cap, basically. Good. Uh, next up, so Kerma, Aliaf, and Bagdu. So two outposts and uh, one of my first city uh, gained some population from that, which is really good. Um, so now what? With Nepada now, so this is an available option. We can gain, we can build some some science. I still want to build up on my food though. Uh, but we can build on that. And we can get a school as well. But for the school, what does it take? This city does not, this city in particular does not need a school. Uh, that's kind of odd. Every city should need a school, but okay. And uh, right here, does it need a school? Not even. All right, so apparently we don't need schools. Okay. We just don't need schools at all. So we don't need to build any of those. That's unfortunate, I guess. And for our next technology, what do we want to research? I guess I kind of want to go for the hydrology. Water mills, artificial reservoirs. reservoirs. Let's do hydrology, boys. Next, we're going to do fortification just because it's um, something that's really going to be uh, in Helpful. Let's do communal right. There we go. Perfect. A community. Might I recommend throwing in a few feasts as well? Yes, you might recommend it. All right. So religious religious tolerance is the next one. It's going to take us 215 influence in order to make the next move. So that we're going to have to wait a long time, especially since now I'm going to be saving my points for uh, building up this city right here. So. It's going to take a long time, boys. But now, uh, what we can do is we can go into the city and we can actually do procession and build up that stability. So, let's do that. Boom. So, we're building up that stability right there. That's perfect. That's, that is done. That's being done. And uh, over here, this city as well. It takes forever to go from one land to the other. Uh, Kerma, I want to do the same thing. Boom. Spending some money, boys, in order to save our asses. Right here. Now, it was stabilizing, but still, I don't want to risk anything uh, crazy happening. All right, so this unit right here, it's healing up over time, actually, which is fantastic. It's exactly what I want to see. Really want to see. So we're going to keep in the keep them uh, healing. And these guys are just going to keep moving on the east right here. Uh, seems like, yeah, this is definitely our border. This might be the end of the borders right here. So we're gonna end up probably crossing afterwards or maybe going on sea uh, start building boats and right start crossing across the, uh, the the channels and stuff that would be very helpful it looks like as well as you can see uh, the third uh, faction is about to enter the classical era which is great for them I believe all right so let's uh, end the turn so got nothing to do boys we're still doing pretty good we're gaining a lots of influence lots of everything uh a knowledge show culture chosen messinians reach the classical era as the marians all right we've got population two over kerma or gain two population over uh, in kerma so kerma's got uh, an extra two population and one population for napata 
So with that extra two population in Kerma, uh, it brings them pretty pretty far ahead. Uh, I want them in science. I want as many people in science as possible. Uh, food wise, we still don't really need a body, anybody to be in food. I'm just gonna put everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna put literally everybody in science. Just so the science is upgraded as maximum at, at its maximum potential, and uh, in one turn we're gonna have all the uh, we're gonna have our technology we're working on. It's gonna be done. Uh, Nafata in one turn as well is gonna have the uh, farmer squatter done. Here's the thing: I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna keep working on food right here. The thing is, I don't know whether or not I should do that. Like uh, I should build right here some ships. Maybe I can cross the channel, go on the left, try and pick up my army. Maybe I will do that. Maybe I will do that. Over here, we've got how many? We've got 10 population out of 26. And over here, we've got 5 population out of 37. Yeah, we, got, we don't have a whole lot right here. We're starting to rebuild. So I think, yeah, we want to build ships, but over here instead. That would be the, the next move, boys. So right here, I guess my army... Just keep moving, keep exploring until there's nothing left to explore. And we still got our army over here, right? There we go, we still got our army. Let's me go all the way here. They're still healing up. Let's uh, keep them healing up for now. I don't want anything bad happening to them. So we're gonna just, uh, wait. Oh yeah, we got urgent affairs as well. We got a, a, like an event or something going on in Kerma. Let's see it. Okay, so it's a new civic, independent peoples. Okay, so it's just a new civic that's uh, available to be used. So we're definitely going to do that eventually once I have enough points to deal with these civics. At this point, I don't have any any influence points. It's kind of hard to get those. So let's just hand the turn already. There we go. Turn 31. Uh, culture chosen. We, uh, we have another... Uh, people, uh, the fourth people, I believe, that entered the classical era, era. So everybody's in the classical era now. We've got hydrology uh, researched, which is good, which means we can have artificial reservoirs. We can get some water mills and we can get some aqueducts. Every single one of those is going to be a great, uh, fantastic idea for us. First thing we're going to do, boys. It's definitely build on these reservoirs. Now, since that is done, we're just going to quickly purchase the market squatter. We're going to do the aqueduct, build it right away. Boom. So we got an aqueduct now. Uh, we can't do anything else. There's nothing else we can do. So we got somebody already put on food. Do we need any? Not really. So we're just going to put the last guy that we can get. We're going to put him on the science. So six out of six for the science right here. And the uh, next thing we're going to go for is uh, we're going to go, I guess, what do we need the most? We still need a lot of science, building out that science and stuff, but I feel like we're doing all right in terms of science. If I go right here, yeah, we could still move up a little bit. Let me do fortification for the next one. And I guess what I'm going to, I could go, I could try and go for it, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's try and do science. Is there one in particular that is telling me would be a good idea? Not really, actually. It's not, like, suggesting me anything. It's all just a bunch of uh, of three of science. So if, if it's just three of science, I can put it very far away from the actual city. Just put it on the random terrain and stuff. So I think I'm just going to put it right here. Put it right here, and we're going to just research that quarter. Uh, and for the next city, let me uh, see really quick. Let me go all the across here. Nepala. Hasn't, isn't done with the farmer's quarter somehow? I don't know how that's possible, but okay. I guess I'm just going to quickly purchase that farmer's quarter. There we go. So the another era star complete. Quarters. One more we'll era star, boys. And we're going to be able to move out to the next storage. era and stuff. Uh, we want to get every single one of those. First off, we're going to get an aqueduct. There we go. It's going to build up our stability. Next up, we're going to get some water mills. Upgrade our industry. And we're going to get the artificial reservoirs, which upgrades our food. There we go. Everything's done, boys. And we already know what we want to go for. Personally, I want to go for the... Uh, I definitely... Uh, I'm going to send the this guy right here for the money. Money-wise, uh, we want as many money, as, as much money as possible. Uh, what I want to do right here is I definitely want to go for this. The uh, Pentecounters. So we're going to get that. It's going to take two turns. 
to build them up. I don't want to waste any money on them. So just going to wait for them to be built up. Uh, so I don't have a, I don't have a, any contradiction to that. We got 163 of influence. How much does it take for you to be uh, a city? 255. So still got to wait quite a bit. Uh, we are still gaining quite a bit amount of influence, starting to build more and uh, gain more and more over time. So we're doing fine, boys. Over here for you, you're gonna move right here. So let's start moving right here. Let's start. So okay, so we see this is the limit that uh, that we can reach. Literally the limit we can reach right now. So there's nothing else we can do. Uh, we gotta go on ship uh, and explore further. In order to explore further, we're we have the old continent for ourselves, so we're going to have to uncover more of those continents. In one turn, apparently, there's another civic that's going to be available or something. Not too sure, but let me see my religion. How's it going? Most of my religions, that's all 100%, so everybody's at 100%, boys. Everybody's doing fine. Don't need to change anything whatsoever. I feel like everybody's doing fine. Okay. That's great. That's really great. Let's keep moving unless I can... Can I move this? Let's say if I want to, uh, like, let's say if I want to attach, this would take 132 of influence boy, uh, points just to attach this outpost, this city. It would take a lot, but it, it would have helped me because it would give us at least like two population or something like that. Oh, I have the right for a uh, fourth city now. I have the city cap for four cities, boys. What do you know? Okay, so I'm going to keep him like that. I'm going to keep that outpost just like that for now. Uh, once I get the chance, once I build up the other city, I'm going to build the uh, the fourth city as well. I already have my location for the fourth city. Okay, then. Well, that is done. That's fantastic. Let's keep it going, boys. All right, 32. Aliyah and Lish. So two more uh, outposts getting, uh, I guess... More population. Aliyah, my future city, is already at 5 out of 6 population, boys. That's my uh, future city right here. Uh, one more turn, it's gonna we're going to be able to turn it into a city. So they're fully healed up. These units are fully healed up. We want to eventually fight them. We're probably going to do that right now. But first off, I want to make sure that everything's fine on this side. We got industry. I don't want anybody in the industry. I don't care about industry whatsoever. I want to put... Oh, I need people on food now. Yeah, okay, so... I need to be, uh, put people on food, which I'm going to do. So we got five people right here. We need to start pulling people on food. Just so uh, it's faster that way. I'm going to keep the money uh, there, though. Definitely going to keep the money there. And science. Uh, we need more one more per person right here, but it's fine. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't have anything else. We can keep it going right here. What about this city right here? Uh, Kerma? Kerma has some population here and there. Um, we got one person in the food. We're still producing enough food that we're gaining one population per turn, which is great. So we're now at seven population. Okay, so we're doing fine, I guess. Yeah, we're doing way fine. And I'm actually going to turn this guy around. He's going to start moving towards this direction because once I get the ships, they're going to move here. Uh, basically, that's what we're, they're going to be doing. Also, since I'm at it, I think I am going to quickly purchase the Pentanker, uh, Pentec Hunters. So I'm going to quickly do it. So we got these ships. There they are. I have an option for a fourth ship. Where we're definitely going to do that. Uh, definitely going to get ourselves a fourth ship right here, boys. So there we go. So now we got four ships. Perfect. We're going to just drop more people into science now. Because um, food-wise, we're not. Uh, it's not that, uh, that important anymore. So we're just going to put people into... Okay, no. I do need people to be a one of food. One population per turn. So there we go. That's going to do it right here. So we got our four ships. All four of our ships. They're going to head out towards my uh, my other guys. My soldiers. In order to explore. Also, we... I guess the next quarter we want to go for... Is we want to keep working on science. It's definitely the most important part. But uh, money-wise, now I want to keep working on science. And uh, they are telling me uh, to go for somewhere in particular. So uh, right here is pretty far away. Nobody's going to uh, 
it's gonna prevent us from doing anything here so we're just gonna go there all the way there in order to do that in one turn we're gonna have the fortifications done which means we're gonna have better walls and all that good stuff so let's keep it going boys unless no i have i still have this guy right here i, I gotta move yeah so let's move him up now this is gonna be a tough fight this these are chariots they're well defended we are gonna have to use some bit of strategy right here let me go here first we're gonna move all across here and we are gonna attack this guy we're gonna attack this guy there we go there we go let's attack this guy we got a battle going on all right manual battle we're gonna do the manual battle let's do it all right so deployment i want one guy in the foothills the the strongest one and i want this guy right here all right this guy right here he's in the forest so he's not uh he, they can't see him so we're gonna end the deployment there we go all right so what do we do here how do we fight oh we gotta go on plane okay so we gotta move him we're gonna move him right here let's try and uh and get this guy as well so we're gonna move across and beat them up beat them up big time all right there we go there we go so we beat them up we beat these guys up now they're gonna have to deploy and move they got two chariots they're really strong they got a lot of chariots it's very dangerous boys and uh, there we go so i we actually won okay we ended up winning because of my mod and stuff my one shot kill so you've earned seven era stars because of that because we uh, we beat them up which is good we can choose our new era which i i want to do now boys so we're gonna get off that and we're gonna choose now our next era so let's enter a brand new era really quick all right so medieval era let's see what we got boys so we can be Carthagians once again cultural uh, transcendence would give us 10 uh, plus 10 additional fame which i don't really need i'm way above everybody in terms of fame we could be some aztecs now that's the land now Carthagians give us money by basically um these give us money as well money per alliance on all cities i don't really have any alliances so it doesn't matter for that uh the franks we can be french boys uh plus 10 influence for crown lands so every uh a plus 10 influence on all lands would be a great addition i guess would be a good addition but it's not that good uh five for luxury resources and five for strategic uh, resources that's actually really good that one that one's really good boys uh city st uh, states money per states and stuff like that i don't really care about that so so far the ganyans seems like the one uh the most interesting the english seven food per number of attached territories yeah all right so i am gonna go for these guys these guys seem like the most interesting ones so we're gonna go for them boys let's adopt a brand new culture we're gonna be these guys now so we're gonna get a bunch of uh, money wise stuff luxury markets uh luxuries market though is giving us stability but we're gonna be at least able to build that and uh we're really focusing big time on the money we're making boys more than anything else wisdom and technical innovation from earlier eras bring humankind new knowledge and we immediately use it to find new ways to kill each other off greater empires build more powerful armies but brute strength may be defeated by superior innovations it is brains versus brawn with ever richer cities as tempting spoils for the victor. Brute strength and innovation? How about trade, travel, and a lifestyle supported by tolls? I'd say the Ghanaians were onto a good thing. Yeah, they were onto a good thing. This is why I chose them. I didn't choose the French or the English. I chose them. And look at all the borders right here. You can see the start having wall fortifications reached. There we go. A new order can be claimed. Each of the distinguished monuments can be a testament to human kind's power and ingenuity for millennia to come. All right. So how does that work exactly? So we can get ourselves a wonder. That would be great to have one of those. It each gives the uh, gives us something in particular. A statue of Zeus. All these stuff. 
What do we really want to have, though? I feel like the Notre Dame would be great, boys. Just the Notre Dame. The Colossus of Rhodes as well. Kind of want to have the Colossus, to be honest. The Colossus would be great. It's 250, though. Yeah, you're going to wait on that one. You're going to wait on that one. Before going for... Yeah, before going to... Uh, for a wonder... We're going to... Uh, it's going to have to wait because I want to get... Uh, my outpost into a city my third outpost into city and stuff so we are in the medieval era well above everybody else once again um, these guys right here are definitely going to start attacking the Nox, and we're just going to assault there we go we're going to assault them we're going to do some manual battles just so we're going to be able to deploy really quick all right so we're going to deploy you right here wait uh yeah sure deploy you right here right and uh, let's end the deployment so uh you buddy are gonna go right here go! boom there we go buddy so just like that we're gonna finish them off easily just like that he's losing a lot of health though we uh, we gotta heal ourselves up we're gonna lose one of our units uh, what, no matter what happens here let's kill these guys this guy's gonna die by um this bitch is gonna be a, a two yeah front kill the problem with this one though is this one now it's gonna kill himself as well we're probably not gonna take the uh, the place just because all my both my units it's a draw yeah it's a draw basically the nox are, the, are still alive but i just lost my two units so that's unfortunate it is but uh, that's just how it goes sometimes also adiash uh, aliaf i now have enough points so here's what i'm gonna do boys i'm gonna end the video right here we're gonna do we're gonna build up my second uh, my third city in the next video we're also gonna focus on our next focus which is gonna be having ourselves a wonder uh, which is gonna take 205 points and uh, afterwards we're just gonna keep exploring I guess so remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video I'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy